Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of The Bit. We started off with You Lost Me at Cortez, and yeah. Hello, my name is Danny King. Danny James. And uh, this is Will. I'm Will. <laughs> my name is Kyle Smith. Gregor Forrest. Alright, first question. Uh, how did you guys form? Um, me and Gregor used to be in a bassy drums <laughs> funk chord duet. Yeah. And then we, we just met up with Kyle and started playing together, just jamming, and eventually added Danny. How long have you guys known each other, it. and how did you guys meet? Me and I know I've known each other since middle school, and I've only known Kyle about a year, and Danny like a month, so. But ironically, we're the best friends. Yeah. How do you guys come up with the band name? Can't. Can't tell you. No, honestly, we no. can't. Don't no, stop. Hell, you really don't. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, what are your influences? Uh, can we, let's just go down. The line. Yeah, let's go down the line. Uh, starting with Will. This town needs guns a lot. Kind of mathy stuff like that. Also, obviously, cast and ambient stuff. I'm also influenced by the Apple Seed cast very much. So, and Maps and Atlas is it's my favorite band ever. So you should definitely look them up after you look up our band, so awesome. <laughs> uh, for me, definitely uh, Americana is the best type of music. Um, awesome. But I think that they're right on the money when they talk about bands that really can express emotion, like uh, the Apples. like the Appleseed cast, Explosions in the Sky. Uh, Lost Town Cortez. Yeah. Those are all. Those are those are all really good. Yeah. Alright, um, if you can compare your band to another band, what would it be and why? Uh, probably some, most of the influence. Rasta Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Technicolor Love. Honestly, no matter joke. what we say, no okay. matter what we say, nobody will know like what we're talking about. Yeah. Right? An idea, an inkling of what uh, kind what of music we play. The inklings. <laughs> what type of genre would you consider the band to be? Who's your target audience? I can talk about our target audience because there are three main groups of people that we want to really strike. You know, not literally, but we <laughs> want to strike them as something that will change their lives. Um, so I think women over the age of 45 are definitely our main audience. Secondary people the Great Depression. <laughs> Third, all people that practice Scientology, because I feel like this is right up their alley. Uh, what's the direction you guys are trying to go for? Uh, so stupid. It's like a toilet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who writes the songs for the band, so where do you get the ideas to write them? Um, Kyle's usually the main. Will writes, a, like, me and Will write, like, I write half songs. songs. I think Gregor that me and Gregor, the, the thing is, me and Gregor secretly write all the songs by singing them to Kyle the day before in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he just realized in the morning, dude, I thought of this sweet song. It goes like, do 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 well, let's don't. not. Let's, let's not. Besides it being purpose. really good music, I, I don't. I, I don't agree with that at all. When I write a song, I want when people to listen to it. I want them to to just break down in tears, but at the same time be slightly aroused. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you guys ever watch Arthur when you were a kid? Because I think that that's what I want people like the response that people have after they watch Arthur. You know, like the. The theme I song? just eat some chips up <laughs> The theme song from Arthur. Did we ever like, talk about Jack in the Box tacos? Oh yeah, and Jack in the Box tacos are now 99 cents for two. <laughs> and they're made with 60% soy. Well, usually, I just try to write good music, and then Danny puts some good meaning to it. I well, here's let's can I can I describe the process? Kyle writes the roots, all right. So we have this metaphor of tree, and. 
And I think that Gregor definitely puts the sap into it. Definitely. Yeah. And then yeah, Will definitely things. makes makes the leaves sprout from the stump of the tree. Yeah. And then I think definitely what makes it smell and taste good and flower is probably a lot of delay. That was yeah. so perfect. What's the daily routine for you guys when it comes to rehearsals and how often do you practice? Yeah, say, like twice one, a week. once or twice a week. Uh, is there any last words you guys want to say? Where'd Danny go? Rock and roll! Alright, perfect. We're done. What a great <laughs>